Hello! Today is day two of our not back to school week and the top of my head is cut off but that is so I can show you this. So today I'm going to move back, I'm going to move back a little bit, there we go. So today we are talking about a loop, what is a looping basket and project planning. Now I did try and do a project planning video a little while ago but if you remember watching it you know that I had an asthma attack and I had to go to hospital in the middle of the night so I didn't get to finish the planning video. So firstly I wanted to show you our looping basket and talk about that. So our, a looping basket is our main curriculum will be English and maths. That's it. And then our looping basket is everything else. Now we used to try and do, okay, so we're going to do English, maths and one other subject each day. English, maths and science, English, maths and art, English, maths and history, English, maths and geography, English, maths and French. And it just got really, really stressful because we were just kind of going, something would get, something would happen and we'd be like, oh, you know, on Friday, French Fridays we used to do, and okay, something would happen on a Friday, meant that we didn't want to do anything, we wanted to have a long weekend chilling out, whatever. And then we realised we hadn't done French in six weeks, and I would get really stressed. The kids wouldn't care, because they were like, we had a great time on Friday, I'm not bothered that we didn't do French. And I would get really stressed, oh my gosh, but we've got to stick to the plan, we've got to stick to the plan. And in the end, we scrapped it. And then with the whole coronavirus thing, it was just like, you know what? This is not working. So we devised a project day instead. Now, I did talk about my other video about it being Project Wednesdays, and it was Project Wednesdays. Um, I'm, the day is going to change, so when I do our weekly schedule video um, after all of this, it's going to look a bit different. Um, but we're going to have a still have a project day, and that is when the looping basket comes into play. So the looping basket is all the other subjects that we want to do, but we have them on a loop. Now sometimes I will have things in here that we will just go boop and they can just pick it out and they can sit down and do it. My looping basket and then talk about how we project plan. So one of the things we've got in here, and I, um, so this is Goodnight Stories for Rebel Girls and I, and we've read most of them now, there are some that I leave out. Um, but uh, so you I mean you have loads if you haven't seen this book before I would suggest that you get it even if you don't have daughters um, it should just be for children so you know we've got Harriet Tubman in there you know every everybody should know about who Harriet Tubman is and you've got Frida Kahlo you have Michelle Obama Florence Nightingale um, I think Amelia Elizabeth I Cleopatra I think Amelia Earhart is in here so some days when we're having a slow day we might just get this out we might just read several stories and I will get the kids to research using Google using Alexa I will just say to them right research Michelle Obama tell me when her birthday is and just encouraging them to learn about these women and learn and to learn how to research which is a really really important skill um, so the other things that we have in here obviously we've talked about before that we are culturally pagan and some of the books we have are about that so we've got um, one of our favourite books, which is Lunar Moon Hair. And if you are interested in learning about paganism or the Wheel of the Year, then I would really highly recommend this book to you. It's written and illustrated by a lady called Wendy Andrew. You can buy it straight from her website. She has loads of beautiful cards and other gifts and other gifts on there that you will just love. Um, and Lunar Moon Hair is a child story of the Wheel of the Year. It's absolutely beautiful. And... Uh, few illustrations there and we love reading this around the different sabbats but we also love reading it through the year and then researching more and just generally learning about the folklore then another set of kids stories about the wheel of the year is rupert's tales and it follows this little bunny rupert throughout the wheel of the year and he learns all about all of the different sabbats with the help of animal friends and the god and the goddess which is absolutely beautiful again the illustrations are divine <laughs> absolutely love them hello they're beautiful and Rupert is such a little sweetheart he can sometimes be a bit grumpy but he gets there in the end and the other book we use and as you can see it's well used it's called Circle Round and it's by Starhawk, Diane Baker and Anne Hill um, and this is a grown-up book this is like how to raise your children to the wheel of the year um, and It'll ha it has loads of different things about each sabbat and how to make them child friendly. 
sorry about that, I had to change the battery and then reconnect the Bluetooth and it was all very dramatic. So the next thing in the looping basket is our subjects, is our topics that are really we're going to get in deep and do. Um, so the first thing is the kids have made selections and before I made this video I sat down with the children and I said okay I want you to each pick four topics and those will, what, those will be what we do for the next kind of half of the year. Now if we do one or two and then the other one of them goes you know what actually I don't want to do classical art styles anymore I want to do something else then I will change it. Um, it's not set in stone. Um, so today Bessie and Charles sat down with me and Bessie chose volcanoes. She wanted to learn about chemical reactions, which was a bit big. Like I was, wasn't expecting her to say that. I was expecting her to be like baking, but she was like, I want to learn about chemical reactions. I was like, oh, okay. Um, she wants to learn about color mixing and how different art materials mix colors differently. And she wants to do a marine biology um, module which is really exciting. Phil really wanted to be a marine biologist when he was a teenager and he almost went to university to do marine biology but life had other plans um, and yeah so he's really excited I think he's probably wanna get it, want, going to want to get in on that. Charles chose dinosaurs specifically those who are, would have been found in the UK and Europe. He wants to learn about electricity so we're going to do a bit of physics he wants to learn classical art styles, so we have a book that has um, how to do, and a curriculum actually, you know, how to do, how to mimic their um, classical art artists and but do your own thing. Um, and then he wants to learn all about reptiles. So in the looping basket already, in preparation for that, we have 100 facts on dinosaurs. We're going to work through the facts one by one. I will probably get them to prepare a lap book or a poster, something like that. Um, if you don't know what a lap book is, I'm quite happy to do a video explaining lap books as well, but um, we will do a lap book or poster, some kind of presentation on a couple of the facts. I'll probably get them to choose like one each. With this, we're going to do a field trip to the uh, Dinosaur Museum in Dorchester, which um, is about an hour away from where we live. Hello, Albert and um, with the Dinosaur Museum, my sister and sister-in-law went there um, back before Covid and they had a great time so we are going to go and have a look too and take our dinosaur book with us. It is now Syria, Turkey, loads and loads of things which is it's a really really nice book, I'd recommend that. Um, it's called We Gather Together and it's by Wendy Pfeffer, I think is how you pronounce her name. Um, so the other bit, we picked this up from the Pound Shop, from Poundland, um, it's just an introduction to nature and it's a really really sweet book. And But that all ties in with this, so this is um, the nature journal from the curriculum called Exploring Nature with Children. Um, it's about £14 um, from there or about $15 if you're, if you're using American currency and this is their nature journal that accompanies the main curriculum and this is part of the looping basket because they have a um the nature journal has something to do every single day where the um curriculum is more broad they do, do partner each other though um so my um suggestion for the children would be to do some things from this as part of their looping if they wanted to and then we've got the uh, a nature journal and also a guidebook. So I was talking about um, our, in our eclectic homeschooling video about having a nature guidebook. This is again, I love Osborne. I feel like I should be a rep because I just love their books. Uh, this is an Osborne Spotter's Guide to Nature. Um, if you are an Osborne rep, let me know because I would love to buy some books from a homeschooler or from just a small business um, to support a viewer. We love this Spotter's Guide to Nature. Um, it's well thumbed, it's got lots of ticks in it, and we take it with us when we go on our nature walks. So the final things in the looping basket are this science playbook. I love this. It is aimed at children two to six, which obviously I've got two children in this bracket and then one just above, but to be honest, it, he, it's, it's well, he's well up for it. Um, and it's 
mainly nature based but there's lots of um, physics and chemistry as well it's not just biology um, and it's basically to introduce them to more hardcore science and we really really like this so again it encourages nature study it encourages having a nature notebook um, and but then it also talks about it has like different different modules um, so for example this one here it's sun wind and rain and then the first um, they're all experiments and they're all experiments that don't need a lot of preparation and they're not going to cost a lot you're probably going to find the stuff in your house or in a lo in a local like pound shop so it talks about um, playing games with your shadow, learning about your shadows, doing shadow art, doing a puppet show. It talks about making a windsock out of a paper bag and bits of newspaper. It talks about um, water play and learning about rain through water play. Cloud in a bag, again, really simple science experiment. Uh, puddle prints using kitchen roll and, um, and watercolours documenting the weather, meteorology, and so on. And it's, it's a really, really great book. Um, it says 14.99 US dollars, which is about, what's about 12 pounds, 11 pounds, something like that. It's, it's really a really, really good book. We have had this since Charles was very little and uh, I absolutely love it. I'm just gonna show you some snippets of my project planning. I'm going to be planning the volcanoes, um, the volcanoes topic that Bessie wants to do and I'm going to show you the resources I use and how I plan that out. <laughs> resources and all of the books are linked in the description below I feel like I'm always putting links for you in the description I hope it helps um, some of the links are Amazon affiliate links so if you click on them and then you buy them I will get a little bit of money if you do click them thank you very much um, I hope you've enjoyed the looping basket show me pictures of Instagram of your looping basket if you build, build one and what kind of things you're putting in and I will always reply. If you send me a comment or you send me a DM, anything like that, I'm always, I always try and reply to you. Same with emails, I'll always give you a email reply. Um, I love being here for you to support you and give you, um, give you any assistance in your homeschooling journey that you need. Thank you so much. I'm really excited to see you tomorrow for day three. Have a great day, guys. Bye.